keyboard settings in uh, Oppo phone like A5s, A7, A5, A71, A3s, A37, A83 or in any Oppo phone. Hey guys, welcome back to 1 million ideas YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you that how you can manage all your keyboard settings in any of your Oppo phone. So guys, uh, whenever you go to any of the messages and then click on the text bar and then you have to push, uh, you have to hold your comma button and then just swipe to gear icon here and then it will lead you to the keyboard settings page as you can see here we have a lot of options to manage our keyboard settings uh, first we have is language so if you click on the language then here you have the option to select the language at keyboard and then here you have the uh, language available as you can see so you can select all the languages these are the uh, we have suggested languages so these are our uh, local languages that we have in our country and then if you scroll down then here as you can see all languages available so if you want to search the specific language then you can simply search the language here if i search span okay spanish is available as you can see and you can simply select the language if you want to select the language then select a UK language here and then you will get the keyboard also here you can select the keyboard type here we have a lot of option here uh, chords chords we have handwriting we have we have SRT Warwick we have a lot of available here and then you have to simply click on the done button and then as you can see here we have the uh, UK uh, two UK available you can simply click on the language and then you can simply click here and then you can click on the done and then your language is done so this is how you can change the languages on your keyboard now let's go to preferences and then see what options what feature we have in preferences here as you can see if you click on the if you enable this then uh, as you can see always show number row in a uh, quarterly so like uh, let's enable this and then go to our keyboard and then see okay now if we type here okay okay quarterly means uh, you will get your all digit like this one two three four and then if you click here on the number then also you will get number like this now let's go to setting and then again check let's go to preferences so this is what it is and then here a show emoji switch key as you can see when emoji switch key is enabled the language switch key cannot be shown so you can manage this and then show images and symbols keyword you can enable this and then one handed mode if you enable this let's see and then check this is enabled one handed mode okay guys as you can see one handed mode this is like if you have uh, uh, if you have only one hand and uh, your one hand is disabled your one hand is not working then you can simply use from one hand now let's go back and then click here and then go to preferences and then let's uh let's uh, just uh, switch our one hand mode okay let let's uh, turn it off and then keyboard height you can manage the keyboard height here mid mid tall tall so let's click on the tall and then go and check so if we okay let's go back okay as you can see the keyboard size has increased up to uh, up to i think a 60 percent of our screen this is really great if you want a big keyboard then you can just uh, manage it from here let's go to preferences and then check another features okay okay here we have tall keyboard let's uh, just uh, click on the normal select it to normal switch to the dark theme in the battery saver so if you uh, enable the dark mode then as you can see okay okay dark mode is not working i don't know what happened i think i have to update my keyboard uh, now let's go back uh, go to preferences and then here we have pop-up creep rays haptic feedback on creep rays and if you want a sound on the key press then you can enable this and then key long press delay okay here the key long press delay you can manage okay millisecond now let's go to theme and then check here we have the theme you can change uh, the theme of your keyboard as you can see here we have the landscape theme as well now let's uh, select one of the okay okay as you can see here uh, if you if you apply this then your keyboard will look like this okay 
and if you don't want the borders area then you can simply disable and then you will get this type of keyboard so we are not going to apply because it has already given us a demo now let's go to text correction so text correction has a lot of the uh, sub feature sub category so suggestion strip and next word suggestion if you are uh, typing i am then it will automatically suggest you the another word i'm feeling or i'm having i'm eating something like that and then if you want to block the offensive word then you can simply click uh, you can simply enable this show emoji suggestion so this is a very good feature if you want the emoji suggestion like if you are typing sad then it will appear one sad emoji and then you can simply select it shortcut a uh, suggest contact you can also enable this okay and then here you have the auto correction available if your grammar is not uh, that good like me then you can simply enable this option and then it will automatically suggest you some of the uh, it will automatically correct your word okay now we have auto space uh, after punctuations okay 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 if we give some punctuations then it will automatically give you space this is really good but it is only available on us english now auto capitalize auto capitalizations capitalize the first word of each sentence this is a really good feature and double space full stop spell check uh, you have a lot of option available here now let's go to glide typing okay glide typing is uh, I'll show you if you enable this then this is a really good feature I'll tell you how it works like if I type uh, like glide typing is this okay if you want to uh, type love then first uh, you have to just uh, you know you have to just uh, swipe from one uh, from one alphabet to another like from L to O and O to V and V to E like this L O V E love as you can see so this is the glide typing if you are interested on glide typing then you can simply enable and then you can type this is a really good feature and then we have the voice typing available here if you are a kind of boring person and then you just want to use your voice to type your messages then you can simply enable this and then you can start typing by just using your voice so it's a really good feature if you are in hurry if you are driving if you are uh, if you are driving then you can simply uh, use this uh, this uh, this feature to have a conversation to have a chat with your friends now we have the dictionary available personal dictionary UK you don't have any word in the personal dictionary to add a word okay we can add a word on our dictionary also here the dictionary available so if you want to search or something as you can see predictive content search such as content GIF emoji sticker searches so if you want to add searches then you can simply uh, add this also and a share gboard if you want to share gboard to your friends then you can simply click here and then if you click on the advanced then here you have the advanced settings available share usage statistic automatically sent keyboard usage statistics to google emoji with a physical keyboard physical alt key shows and show app icon display app icon in the launcher so if you want to display your app icon in the launcher then you can simply uh, enable this and then you also have some uh, okay here we have the man I think this is the one of the very important message delete learned word and data clear all the data the Gboard has learned in improve your typing and voice typing okay this shows advanced but I don't think so there are a lot of to use there and if we click here then we have the about and then help feedback if your keyboard is not working then you can simply click on the help and then you can report your problem as well now we are not going to do that and then this is it guys this is how you can manage your keyboard completely on any of your oppo phone i hope this video definitely helps you thanks for watching